Stern Hodge demonstrates how he had to crawl after the battery for his compact scooter was seized on a trip. <sighs> Having to crawl across the floor in front of my wife is the most humiliating thing that I can think of. He's talking about an incident two years ago, traveling through Calgary International Airport. A security guard and agent from United Airlines told him he couldn't take the battery for his scooter on board. They cited security concerns. Lithium batteries can catch fire, so they seized them. Canada is the only country that I've been to where I'm denied my human rights. According to global standards, the airlines are supposed to allow people with disabilities to travel with batteries for medical devices as long as they're in carry-on luggage. Now on an anniversary trip with his wife, without his scooter, forced to do this. <sighs> Crawling across the floor. A couple of months earlier, WestJet seized his batteries. That time, he only got them back moments before takeoff. United Airlines, WestJet and Airport Security, CATSA, have apologized to Hodge. The airlines offered him travel credits. But since those incidents, Hodge says, he's been stopped more than a dozen times. Now he wants his case heard by the Canadian Human Rights Commission, where he can seek financial compensation for pain and suffering and discrimination. When security can uh, seize what otherwise should be able to go onto the aircraft, that leaves people with disabilities very vulnerable. Over the past three years, the annual number of disability-related complaints filed with the Canadian Transportation Agency has steadily climbed to more than 500. Ultimately, Hodge says he's hoping for a ruling that forces airlines and airport security to abide by protections already in place. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.